RBI Baseball! A little upfront confession for the people who haven't seen all of my 800 plus videos. I am not a big fan of baseball. As I've mentioned before, I'm not a big fan of a lot of sports. Other than, of course, the greatest sport ever, curling. When I was a kid, I used to go to the Padres games with my dad, and it was fun! And also, when I was a kid, I also played in a league, where we won one game all season. As a team, we like to let other teams feel good about themselves by letting them win games. And I have to assume that one game that we won, the other team was doing it to us. The last real baseball game, which wasn't a gimmick title that I played, was back when I think when I was like 12 years old. I was playing Earl Weaver Baseball on my friend's Tandy computer. Tandy was a brand of computers that Radio Shack sold. Oh, and Radio Shack was an electronics store that sold overpriced electronics. Surprisingly, I did enjoy the Cubs World Series games from last year, and that got my interest up in playing a video game version. The last baseball game that I reviewed I think was Wii Sports or that Nicktoons baseball game. Since this is an official Major League Baseball game, I was expecting a full baseball experience with batting practice, maybe some pitching minigames to help me learn the best ways to throw the ball, an online mode, maybe even a home run derby. What I wasn't expecting was a stripped down game that looked like it was ported from the Wii. This is a baseball simulator. That that's it! It lets you play season, postseason, and exhibition. There are no other options, not even a practice mode, which I ended up having to create on my own, but more on that later. They let you download the latest rosters, and if you want to play the most accurate version of baseball, you're in luck. You pick your team, your pitchers, and then your roster, and then the game starts up, eventually. It's a little slow, but it's really not that bad. I just found it noticeable. There is no fun intro, it's just a quick let's get to the game atmosphere. When pitching, you have the choice of a fastball, normal pitch, or slow ball. You can curve the ball or move your position on the mound, but that's about it. It was pretty boring to be the pitcher. In fact, I think I had more fun playing as the pitcher in Wii Sports. It never really felt like I knew exactly where I was throwing the ball. I just kind of aimed for an area. I guess you could say it's like that in real life, but in video games, you need more precision and enjoyment. And the pitching in this title had none of that. But batting wasn't any better. You can move around the batter's box just like normal, or to say float around the batter's box. As your feet don't move, they just kind of hover. Nice animations there, guys. They say in the instructions you can press down while you swing to swing your bat downward. But it never really worked for me as it just kind of moved my character down. All of the character designs were so simplistic, from the batter to the outfield to the ridiculous audience in the bleachers. I mean, look at the audience. This is just copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. It's insane. They spared every expense recreating the sense of actually being at a ballpark. It is so lazy. There are no replays, announcers, or special effects of any kind. There might be some with a home run, as I never got to see it in the games that I played. But I wouldn't bet on it though. I did end up winning one game in the many I played. When you win a game, it's a very underwhelming experience. You don't get to see your team celebrating or everybody excited like, Yay, we won this game! Woohoo! It just moved on to the next game. In season mode, you could play a full season of over 150 games, which is insane to think anybody would want to play this game over 150 times. You could also play a half season or a quarter of a season. They do give you the option of letting your computer play a match for you if you don't want to play against the person that you're matched up against. The postseason as you're playing is a wildcard team that's trying to make it to the World Series. It's just a basic game with a text box at the top saying wildcard, then playoff game. You do get this fancy chart, but that's as far as I saw them go in the presentation. There were two control schemes, normal and arcade. In normal mode, you press one button in the directional pad to which base you want to throw it to. And in arcade mode, the four buttons will decide where you want to throw it. Think of the buttons like a diamond design to figure out which one you want to throw it to. I found the normal the best control scheme. Here's another odd thing, you can't use the Joy-Cons like two controllers. The way the game is played, you would think this wouldn't be an issue, but they actually require you to have two controllers. But lucky me, I do. The regular Joy-Con and the Pro Controller. The two-player mode worked exactly like the main game. When I was in two-player mode, I took this opportunity to make my own practice mode, and just kept pitching to myself to hit the balls. It actually helped me improve my batting. Why this isn't an option from the menu, I have no idea. I also did some pitching and fielding practice, and I would have done more if the game hadn't crashed on me. RBI Baseball was very disappointing. I think it's probably the most basic version of baseball that can exist. I think Wii Sports had more nuance than this game, so definitely you should skip this. Graphically, it looks like a Wii game, and while it controlled fine, the presentation and feel of the gameplay was just so boring to watch and play.